This is what we've all been waiting for, the cross console final. It's Tex and it's Tuga. I wanted to play on the PS4 first. Why do I bring this up? Because if this, game, if this game goes to extra time and penalties, it will be on Texas Xbox in the second leg. I believe that Tuga wants to get off a good start and try to put some pressure on Tex, and he's known as a defensive player. So he's thinking, maybe if I get on the Xbox, I can still shut you out or I can hold you down if, I able, if I'm able to get a one, two goal lead on my home console. Here we go, Tuga in the red of Portugal's national team and Tex wearing the blue of Liverpool. We've normally seen Tex in the red. Tex has beaten Cofolo, Felipe Megabit, and MS Desari in the knockouts to get to the cross console final for Tuga. He has dispatched the stranger, Iago Kai, Paulo Neto, and PS4 number one ranked Nicholas. This is what it's all about. $50,000 to the winner. $20,000 to the runner-up. Either way, these players have done so well. They've gotten their Global Series ranking points, and they will get a sweet prize at the end. We also have the formations and the players picked. Tuga's going with a 4-4-2. Backline of Cancelo, Ramos, Ferran, and Marcelo. As we have Tex going into final third here. Mbappe to Neymar. Hullet. He is using all the players associated with the meta, and it's intercepted well by Tuga. has been known to be a defensive master of a player who likes to play a bit more on the counter. And Tex is in the 4-2-3-1, same formation we've seen him in throughout the tournament. Nothing really jumps out at you. You're going to see Rio Ferdinand as a center back of choice. He's got Ramos as the right back. We've been seeing that fullback option all day, or all weekend, I should really say. Uh, but in terms of the attack, the midfield, Hullet, Vieira, Mbappe, Ronaldo, Neymar, a lot of the usual suspects. And here is Tex out wide through Mbappe, just keeping things simple for now, slowly getting everyone up the pitch. One back by Tuga, and he will start defensively as he often does, looking to switch flanks. Here is Joao Cancelo, one of the players that hasn't been used too much in this tournament. We've normally seen Ramos play as that makeshift right back. Again, down to more central position is Tex. Neymar with the roulette, but it's read well by Vieira, who didn't anticipate until the final second with that standing challenge. CR7 now to Neymar, edge of the box, heel to heel, trying to create space. Here it is to Ronaldo. he's found space, and it's a stunning save from De Gea. The first warning shot fired by Tex. Corner at the near post over the crossbar. You've gotten a couple warning shots, Tuga. You bet. This is your home <laughs> console, my guy. Well, that woke him up, Tuga, if he wasn't already has his family in attendance. Both these players do. They traveled overseas. Tuga from Portugal, Tex from England. 20th minute now. This is the first time Tuga has ventured forward into the final third, and he's easily read by Marcelo, who dispossesses Mbappe. Now looking to go the other way, the through ball over the top to try to find Mbappe, who has a step on Varane. Looking to play the ball in. Instead, he goes a short to Neymar. Hullet to Vieira, the preferred choice at holding midfield. For Tex. One by Hullet, only temporarily. Hullet now in the blue for Tex. CR7 just trying to spin away from Vieira. Now Neymar. A few step overs and back to Vieira again. Simple, quick possession. Here is CR7, a fellow compatriot of Tuga, Diego Pombo. If you're just tuning into the stream, Tuga has been a lockdown defender all tournament long, and F2 Tex will look to have outlet passes and counterattacks via the wings, and then he tries to cut back inside, or you might see some crosses whipped in via skill moves uh, and some of the more creative aspects that he has in his arsenal of, of gameplay uh, offensive weapons. Talk to us about the mentality of Tuga. Twice he's gotten forward, and he's been dispossessed quite easily. Give and go first, though, from Neymar and Mbappe, the PSG pair. Uh, for Tuga, he's looking for key passes. You're not going to see nearly as many skill moves uh, or creativity or, or even that dynamic feel that Tex tech, tech has when he goes forward. But with his defensive uh, tactics and how well he's able to shut down his oppositions, uh, it, it makes it where he's going to be able to compete in any game. A few players here at the tournament talking about Tuga, saying how good he's been uh, defensively, knows how to close up shop, and Tex knows how to break down a defense. 
Tuga is also a possession player. He's using the 4-4-2, and he's trying to utilize both of those outlets as wings uh, in order to have that classic, slow, structured build-up play, unless there is an early counter uh, in case his opponent may be overcommitted and trying to break down his defense. Here is the Air Force Academy man from Portugal, Tuga, on the front foot, Neymar to Vieira. Now Ronaldo, now he's got something brewing, but Ramos in a perfect position for Tex to win it out. You can see that it is a more cagey affair. Do you play a lot more conservatively when you've gotten to this point and when there's so much at stake? Surely that's in the back of your mind. I know that Tex wants to win this game, but if he were to get a draw, it wouldn't be the worst scenario going to his home console. Neymar, very patient on the ball. He's not forcing anything. This is the confidence of Tex. He's been to this stage. Tuga has it. That's brilliant oh! from Neymar. And Tex with a stunner in the 38th minute. 1-0 for the Xbox number one. Uh, uh, how about that? It's a flurry of skill moves. Oh, and we've seen this time and time again from Tex. Four Elasticos in succession. And it, it, it's not just for show, it's nil-nil. He needs that goal and he has to go ahead. Oh my goodness. Tuga now needs a response. He's shown that he can dance with the best. He beat off Nicholas, the number one player from PS4. Now he has to face Tex, who is considered to be the best overall player at this tournament by a lot of the pros representing England and of course playing on Xbox. This is the PS4 game and that is massive because Tuga says he hasn't played on Xbox, and this is his preferred control console, and Tex is beating him early on as we head into the half. Good sliding challenge there from Veron, but Tex maintains possession. Resets. Can Tuga bounce back from this? It's Tex again. There it's one back by Hullet. Vieira out wide to Marcelo as Neymar streaking forward if he wants him. There is Neymar back to Vieira. Last possession's got to get it forward before the half and he's trying to play that low pass across the pitch, but it's read too easily. A bit more of a clumsy display from Tuga when he gets forward than what we've seen from him being brilliant at this tournament. So Tex with the slender lead. Remember, it's a two-legged affair Tuga won the coin flip and he decided to play on his PS4 where he should theoretically have the advantage. How many games do you think Tex has played on the PS4? Tex said in his interview he's only played two. I don't think that's, that's true. I think he's played more than that. I think he's more comfortable with the PlayStation controller in comparison uh, to Tuga going to the Xbox. We're going to find out, but, but that's, that's what my vibe says. That, that's what I think. And at halftime, we're not going to see changes here. Pretty cagey affair. A lot of the game's been in the midfield. Tex uh, definitely made a couple chances uh, where well, we didn't really see any breakthrough from Tuga. He can fly Portuguese fighter pilots, but can he get a goal against Tex? That is the question. And Tex has a flight to catch tonight, going back to England to try to play for Liverpool just tomorrow. A very busy man, and will he go to England with $50,000? Imagine that at 17. He says he just wants to take his mom on vacation. Well said from Tex. And here is Tuga, and the kit of the Portuguese national team. His country's very proud of him. A heel to heel from João Cancelo. And that's the first shot from Tuga. And it's a great save from De Gea. Nerves from Tex. Tuga trying to get something. Another chance from Mbappe, and it's deflected. And you can see how Frustrated Tuga is that these first two shots didn't go his way. Now Marcelo, and it's right to Ronaldo. A bit of a blind pass. Think he'd go back to his defense. Ball over the top. Is the goalkeeper coming out? Yes, he is. De Gea with the header safely to the halfway mark. And Tuga's looking a little more progressive in the second half. Uh, internally, he has to be thinking, I've got to get something on the board. I cannot afford a clean sheet going to Tech's home console where he's been so dominant. We just watched him take out MS Desari. So Tex maybe with the harder road to get here overall, but you can't take away anything from Tuga who had to knock out Nicolas in the PS4 final, the number one ranked player on PS4. 
And that's why Tuga is here as a surprise player facing Tex. Still very much within his reach. And he's getting a little bit more comfortable now, it seems, in possession. Here's Mbappe. Vieira wanting the run forward from Marcelo. He likes to play with attacking fullbacks to play in a lot of crosses out wide. That's why he has Cancelo, fellow Portuguese player from the national team, and Marcelo on the other side. Hold it now. Mbappe able to hold off Hullet. There is Cancelo. Here's Vieira outside the box, thinking about the shot. A touch to Ronaldo! And it's just wide of the mark! Fantastic goalkeeper movement there from Tex. He pushed the goalkeeper back and scooted left and right to see if he could get a read on where Tuga was going to try to place that shot. And Tuga overthought it, drags it wide. Vieira now. Marcelo, Ronaldo, Tuga growing into this game on his preferred console. You got to think about it too. Tuga had some time off. He had to wait and watch Tex play. So he wasn't on the PlayStation for maybe a good hour there. And maybe that played a part with a slow start in the first half uh, of, the, of the, the initial leg here. We'll find out pretty soon if it did play a part. Uh -oh. He has an opening. It's R9. He takes it first time. Should he have taken a touch to his right? Hindsight is Should have, could have, would have. What I want the hindsight from you, Mike LaBelle. He has a corner played short to Marcelo. Back to Ramos. Mbappe, clever turn, heel to heel. He's got room to cross it in, but Ferdinand in the right position. Brilliant defending from Tex. Marcelo. Ramos getting it to the attacking players. Mbappe muscled off the ball. That's brilliant from the icon, Ferdinand. Fellow compatriot of Tex. Former England national team man of Manchester United when he was in his playing days. Vieira now as Tuga growing into the game. Desperately needs something on his favorite PS4 before he switches to the Xbox, which he says he's never played on. Only plays two and a half days a week. Tuga. Seventy fourth minute, two legs. First one on PS4, second one on Texas' favorite Xbox. Mbappe's looking for support. Finds it. Got it here in R9. Heel to heel and a few step overs. That's a combination of skill moves that has become so iconic when watching Tex. And here are the first changes. What changes are you anticipating? For Tex, I'm not I'm not thinking he's gonna change anything. Maybe he could bring on a sub or two, but I, I think he's comfortable with the 4-2-3-1. Uh, outside of some of the opportunities he's given up in this half, uh, for the most part, in terms of possession, he's controlled it. The flow of the game, the rhythm, uh, just dictating that pace where I, I wanna stress how important that is. 77th oh. minute, the header off the crossbar. Another close chance, and Tex could have doubled his lead. Now Tuga looking to break on the counter. Modric gets it wide to Messi. Now there's a bit of space for Pelé. Pelé is getting closed down by Hullet. He crosses it for Post off the crossbar. The header's wide and Tuga cannot believe his lack of fortune. To be fair, Tex just hit the crossbar as well. But I'm surprised this is a, a one nil game at the moment. Three chances now from Tuga. Tex has absorbed the pressure as best as he can. But Tuga growing into the game. He's getting better and better, but he only has 10 minutes to get a goal back on his PS4. And that should act as a reminder for Tex, as you're seeing here, a bit of a longer buildup, a little more possession play. Let's just get into the second leg. Let's get back to the Xbox. If I can carry this 1-0 lead into that Xbox, it puts more pressure on Tuga, and, and Tex has to feel confident going to his home console. Uh oh Messi to Pelé. Hold it. Tuga needs something desperately to take with him into the second leg. He's advancing to the final third. Hullet dispossessing Messi, though. Here is Tex, the through ball to Neymar. Quick, decisive movements again, just to try to create space against his marker. It is a staple of Tex. Very proudly representing F2 and England. And Mbappé, again, moving away from danger, but he gives it away. Only for a second, though, now switching flanks to Sergio Ramos, the makeshift center back. Vieira, pull it. And back to the defense. 
He's recycling here in hopes of getting the last attack. Coming into the 90th minute, a couple of minutes of added time. Wants to make sure that he's not going to be countered here. And also, Tex must be so pleased coming away from Tuga's console with a one goal lead. We have no idea how Tuga's going to perform on the Xbox. Neymar. And Shaw Cancelo reads it. And that's the last touch as Tex wins 1 0 on a Tuga's PS4. The crowd here in Atlanta, Georgia with a standing ovation and Xbox controller. So it is going to be curious to see how he does against Xbox's number one player. If there was ever a time you wish you had practice with a controller, it's when you're taking on Tex. Of course, the first leg will be remembered for the Elasticos and Tex now wearing the red of Liverpool. Tuga in the white of the Portuguese national team kit. And right away, Tex putting on pressure and Mbappe. Here's the drag back. Saw those four or five Elasticos in a row to score one of the best goals. And I'd have to say the two best goals of the tournament scored by Tex. Also the Neymar flick. Here's Vieira inside the box and he's just pressured wide by Hullet. And Tuga looking to avoid this early onslaught as he just familiarizes himself with the, not only the game speed, Mike, but also the new controller. And, and Tech's ability to hold off uh, being tackled in those situations is, is, is truly special. I know that he doesn't create an attack, but he's got Vieira, he's got Neymar, he's got Ruud Hullet, he's got all these different players on the ball and their touches, are, they're not the same. And the skills, obviously not the same as well. The size of the player is not the same. And he's able to maintain possession while he's trying to work it around for an attack. But if I'm Tuga right now, I still feel like I can win this. It's only one goal. Uh, stick with your same tactics. And if he's able to carry over some level of momentum from the first leg, then we should be in for an interesting final. I don't think it'll be nearly as clear cut as uh, everybody's saying with F2 Techs. But I could be wrong. I mean, this is Tex home console. He hasn't lost one of these cross console finals. Beautiful through ball there from Marcelo to find Mbappe, and it is Tex again on the front foot. Pull it. Can see the confidence, sweat dripping down with swagger. F2 Tex, aka Donovan Hunt, against Diogo Pombo Tuga. It is the cross console final, a massive prize to the winner, and also the runner up. Both these players should be immensely proud of what they have just done coming to this point. Both have beaten very good players. Tex Dasari and Megabit fell to him in the semis and in the final while Tuga was able to beat Nicolas, the number one ranked PS4 player. And the way that Tuga defends with his outside midfielders is what allows him to keep these clean sheets. He uses them to chase back. They break up a lot of plays, and it gives him additional pressure and additional spacing having that much There's weight. the tornado cross, and uh, the goalkeeper De Gea comes out to punch that one away from Tuga. You can see a little bit of a grimace. He was worried about what would uh, transpire there. Ronaldo with great pressure is the first line of defense for F2 Tex. But Tuga, now he just needs to get out of his own half. He's really struggling here and building up consistent possession. Ronaldo, little uh, quick through pass to João Cancelo, trying to invite Cancelo to get forward. When we spoke to him, he said he loves Cancelo because of his crossing ability. He likes his fullbacks getting forward, making those overlapping runs. And this is looking a little more like a classic Tuga buildup, a little bit slower, a little more controlled. A few players I talked to just expressed frustration playing Tuga that he kind of takes away what you're trying to do. He's not the most flashy or skillful player in terms of skill moves or in terms of just playing for the crowd. That's a brilliant switch from Tex and it is gonna stay in. Ronaldo just looping it back to create some space against Marcelo. CR7 to R9. Little drag back to find CR7 again. So good at playing that ball. Ronaldo's got a little heel to heel. Creates room. First time shot is deflected by Varane, but it's back to hold it. It's suffocating pressure. And it's into the top corner. Texas made it 2 0 on aggregate. Killing Mbappe, team of the year. And this is simply too steep a mountain now for Tuga. MVP Mbappe. I don't know how he gets that through, but he does. Indeed, goalkeeper goes down. It comes off of Varane. All goals count the same, and Tex extends his lead to two goals on aggregate. Incredible drama here in Atlanta, Georgia for the Foot 19 Champions Cup.
1,500 Global Series points already went to these players, and now they're playing $50,000 for the winner. Family is already with the calculators out to see how much that is in pounds and euros. 32 minutes on the clock, and Tex is up two goals. Tuga needs something, and he needs it now. Hullick gives it straight to Ronaldo, and another glimpse of frustration from the Portuguese player. And that makes you wonder, is that a controller error there? Miss aim to pass, point. didn't go to the right player. Clearly not who he was aiming for. You see Tuga keeps grimacing here. He doesn't look too comfortable on this Xbox controller. He said earlier in an interview to Kay Murray, it's the first time that he'll ever play, not just Tex, but also play with the Xbox controller. And he just doesn't seem to be able to get in any sort of rhythm against the best player from Xbox who is living up to the hype and to the ranking. The Tornado cross to the back post! Off the crossbar! And had that gone in, you just wonder, would that have been it? Or is there still a glimmer of hope for Tuga? And as someone who plays on the Xbox and the PlayStation, the biggest difference that I run into is whichever console is not your home console, you're not putting in as much time, you're a little bit slower. You just don't release the passes with the same level of rhythm, that quick passing, almost that instinctive passing, that instinctive buildup. And the same could be said with the defensive pressure. Wait a second here because it is a set piece. It's going to be taken short. And Bappe, and he just sends it wide. Was going for that power shot, not finesse. And it's nowhere near troubling De Gea. Look like another misconnect. Tuga back in possession. Is this where Tex starts playing a little bit more conservatively? Second half, Tex is going to be packing it in and then looking for additional possession on the offensive end. And at the same time, I would think that Tuga's going to make adjustments too where he's got to bring more pressure, got to get more bodies forward. Hullet to Vieira, back to Hullet, building up something a bit better. It's the last attack he has before the halftime whistle, and he loses it. Does... Tex have one more chance before the half. He's just looking to control the ball, not forcing anything forward. Hold it now. Yep, one more chance will be given. And he's dispossessed. Seems like we will be going to the half with Tuga having a two-goal difference to come back from. And he's going up on the Xbox, of course, where Tex likes to play his FIFA. Once again, if I'm Tex, not changing anything, looking to have additional possession in my attack, make sure that I put that pressure on Tuga. I need to remind him if I'm Tex that, hey, I'm not going to give you the ball back that quickly. We're what? still going to go forward, but it's not going to be done and dusted. I'm not going to be on quick counterattacks. I'll take that space. We're going to pull it back. We're going to recycle, and we're going to work for the, the right opportunity. So Tuga using a 4-4-2. It's not a formation that we've seen too much from the pros. What are the benefits of using a straight 4-4-2 line? Well, the way that Tuga is using the 4-4-2 is he's maximizing Neymar and Mbappe as those outside midfielders, and they're doing a good job playing both the offensive and the defensive side uh, of the ball. They're breaking up plays on the defensive end, and he's using them as counterattacking outlets to allow him to go into that possession play or the slower buildup in the final third. Now here is Holland. This is a chance for Tuga! Oh. And he's pulled one back! And it's his compatriot, Cristiano Ronaldo! It's only a one goal difference now between Tex and Tuga. Game on! And it doesn't matter what console you're on, you cannot miss from there. That's the tap in. Beautiful delivery. And we do have a game on our hands. And the Portuguese contingent in the arena just went berserk. And, and it is Cristiano Ronaldo, of course it is, for the Portuguese player, the best player in Portuguese history, delivering the goods. And that's exactly what he needed for his confidence. And more importantly, this makes it where Tuga does not have to start pushing players forward nearly as quickly. He has a little more time to work it out. If he can get an equalizer, he can choose his game plan. All right, so what's the response going to be from F2 Tex? We've seen him bounce back from one goal down, from two goal down. Now he has a one goal advantage, but momentum looking to shift the way for Tuga. Diogo Pombo, the incredible story. Portuguese Air Force Academy only plays two and a half days a week. And now he's playing against the best player from Xbox, very respectably. And he's on the front foot again. Does he have another shot in him? 
Quick interchange, and that shot just does not have any power, and it goes straight to De Gea. His buildup is so different in this half compared to the first half. The same thing that happened in the last game. I don't know if it takes him a half to get going or what, but the way that he attacks, it's just way, it's much more fluid in terms of how he's going forward. It's more decisive. It doesn't look like he's second guessing anything. And Texas face now about two inches from the screen. Ultimate concentration for him as he's now breaking forward through Neymar. Vieira, pull it. Look at the pressure now from Tuga in that 4-4-2. It's not a typical formation for the new meta, but it does work for Tuga, and he has gotten to the cross console final with it. R9, it's so difficult to dispossess Donovan Hunt in these positions. Neymar, the roulette, back to Hullet. Can really feel the energy now in the arena as everyone knows what's at stake. And Texas playing smart right now. Still going with that possession play. Tuga packs it in so well in terms of his defensive uh, pressure uh, and the way that he uses team pressing. R9 now, a bit of space here to charge up on the right. He gives it to CR7, heel to heel, but it's good defending from Marcelo and Tuga. So by Tex bringing it back out, recycling, waiting, he's going to force Tuga to be more aggressive, and that's going to force Tuga to take risk. And Tex loves some good risk because it allows him to use those skill moves to be creative. Just additional space in general to work with. And it looks like Messi will be coming in now for Tuga as that super sub. Often have seen Messi coming off the bench. I don't remember doing a call on Messi actually scoring for any one of these players, but obviously there are benefits to using Lionel. 64th minute now. One goal would send this extra time. Kick save the hand. Follow up from Tex. 3-1. And he's gotten that two goal advantage once again. We see Neymar dancing. Tex also celebrates. He's probably feeling some relief here. Otherwise, the last 25 minutes or so of this match were going to be extremely stressful. It's not done yet. Tuga still has time. And with time, you can create opportunity. Wow. Always the response from F2 Tex. Whether he's down a goal or up a goal, it doesn't matter. He doesn't seem to feel the weight of the moment. That's why he's number one on Xbox. We're going to find out what Tuga's made of. Well, he's certainly made of a lot to get to this stage, but using the Xbox controller for the first time, as he said in the interview, this is really a tough task for him. He's got to be perfect now in the final moments, but it ain't over. Neymar, lovely first time through ball over the top for Mbappe as Texas looking to put this one away. Marcelo, he gets by his marker, R9, Mbappe. Back to Marcelo, Hullet, always a reference point, switches flanks. Now he's just going to try to get too good chasing. Time is on the side of Tex. Neymar, R9, Hullet, Mbappe, does he have time to turn? He shoots at the near post. And now it's Tuga in possession. He saw Pelé as an option, now Messi on his left. It's a good switch to Marcelo. You saw that kick save from De Gea, and that's why you're seeing De Gea used by so many different pros, because he will get down and use his feet, and it helps with the low driven shots. Pulling now, Pelé. Goal, it is absolutely everywhere for both players. Here's Messi, who's trying to charge it up on his left, but it was read brilliantly by Tex. Now Tex in possession, Neymar to Mbappé. Looking for options, he always seems to find a way out. A true escape artist is Tex. Mbappé to hull it, slowing things down, trying to take a bit of the sting out of the game and waste time. We're in the 79th minute. Only 11 minutes of game time are separating Tex from that fat $50,000 check. It's definitely not scary. <laughs> he said he's, uh, or rather his uh, mother said that she hopes he's gonna save it to buy property. That's wise choice. Listen to that, Tex. Don't go buy the flashy watches. They serve you nothing. Well, Tex said he's taking his mom on vacation. I think it's gonna be vacations uh, based on this 50K. That could be Let's wait, though. Nine There's minutes. still time. There's absolutely still time for two guys. All or nothing. And here is the tactics board. Got to go all out. 
Well, you see Tex, he's on drop back. Very minimal death, depth. He wants to make sure that Tuga's going to have to work for every single opportunity. Because every pass he makes, it increases the chance of it being intercepted. A mistake, and it also keeps the clock ticking. Incredible stuff. Both players have had to really go against some of the top from PS4 and Xbox. Texas taking out Megabit, Felipe, and Desari along the way to get to the cross console final, while Tuga really surprised everyone by defeating first place PS4 player Nicolas of Argentina. And here they are on the bottom of your screen. They're both winners. They both won the Xbox and PS4 finals. But this is the cross console final. They've both gotten their points and they both will go home with a big check as well to reward them for a fabulous tournament here in Atlanta, Georgia, the Foot 19 Champions Cup. Now Tex breaking down the wing with CR7 again, just not forcing anything. This has the, been the pattern, trying to waste more and more time, knowing that Tuga needs two goals now. CR7. And, and Tex's wing and play that, is back. unparalleled. Uh, he's able to attack via the wings, hold the ball via the wings, just to control games via those wings, and he uses them as outlets perfectly. As I say that, of course, he has a poor outlet. Could end up for an opportunity here. Oh, back heel from Messi to try to find Ronaldo. It was so close, but again, the defender's in the perfect position for Tex. Tuga still got time. Needs two goals on two chances. Ronaldo dispossessed. And there's that quality outlet again. He goes big. It's very smart. Diagonal. The keeper can't come out. Oh, oh and Mbappe. here is Tex yet again. And Mbappe flicks it up. It would have been something truly spectacular. And Tex would become the first three-time Foot Champions Cup winner. An incredible feat for the wildly consistent man who has qualified for 11 out of 11 events. As we're in the 90th Stevie minute, Stevie G to play homage to his favorite Liverpool. That is more of an emotional move. And what does the icon of Stevie G have in store for us? 93rd minute final chances of the game as we're getting into the final seconds of the cross console final. Texas won it. He is the champion and he will host the trophy, defeating Tuga. Three time champion in the FIFA 19 season. Pre patch. Post-patch, it's not a problem for F2Tex. And there it is, the cross-console champion, Donovan Hunt, a.k.a. F2Tex, has done it yet again for the third time. The first player to do so, record-setting. Incredible scenes here from Atlanta. He's done it in Europe. He's done it in the U.S. Can he do it in Asia? Next event, Singapore. Incredible scenes.